Ok, te rog mucho. Good afternoon and welcome to Firefly Games. My name is Firefly1995 and you are watching, of course, Firefly Games. We are starting a good one here. Ratchet Glad. Mm. Ratchet Gladiator. So, this is an old game from my childhood. It's on the PlayStation 2. Um, and it was published in Japan in 2005 by Insomniac Games. Uh, in the United States of America, you'll know it as Ratchet Deadlock. And I don't know why, but anyways, let's hit the start button here and see what happens. So, we're going to do single player. So this is a story mode, so we're going to load a new game, I'm not going to overwrite my first save, there we go. And you know what, we're going to do couch potato. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we could go somewhere in the shadow sector. So if you've played Ratchet and Clank 3, you're going to see a lot of familiarity here. It isn't exactly the most beefy machine out there, but it should work. Fingers gotcha. crossed. A dramatic conclusion to one of the most exciting episodes of Dread Zone I have ever seen. Captain Starshield, the number one ranked gladiator, has been terminated by Ace Hot Light. My Ace has now eliminated the record me, and I forgot that he can't do anything which is regular that season. <laughs> Um, but anyways, 11 hours ago aboard the Starship Phoenix, so this is where Rash and Clank 3 ended. Although I don't remember it looking like this. Incoming call from the mayor of Metropolis. The <clears throat> new mayor of Metropolis. Oh, oh you mean, right. <laughs> uh, just a sec. Um... Uh, Greetings, Mayor. I... Uh, no, no, um... Well, long time no see! Uh, no... Uh, so, Metropolis still in one piece, huh? <laughs> uh, Greetings, Captain. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well, she need a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, huh? I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you know, Captain Starshield disappeared over a month ago. I've just been informed that he's been killed. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, what happened? Apparently he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport. Something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man. Gleeman Vox. He operates an underground media empire from within the Shadow Sector. The Shadow Sector? It's a lawless region of space on the fringe of the galaxy. Many other heroes have disappeared recently and we fear that they might have met with the same fate. Ratchet. I just wanted to warn you before the Unidentified craft approaching. Uh-oh. Ah, here we go. You the Lombax known as Ratchet. Um, Story. I don't suppose you guys are here to fix the starboard engine, huh? Ready. So, we're now heading out to Dread Zone. Gosh, I, I must admit it yet again. It's been a long time since I've played this game, in fact. Since... 2005? Right, let's hit OK and see what happens. Six hours ago at Dread Zone Headquarters. Yeah! We've captured Subject 209, Mr. Vox. Excellent. Bring him in. Yes, sir. We caught two strays in the process. Should we terminate them? Give him collars and see if he can get some work out of them first. Yeah, a bit of illegal work. So, present time in an uncertain location. Hello? Hello in there? Can you hear me? I should have probably activated You've subtitles. You've been unconscious for hours. You're probably a little disoriented. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Whoops. Uh, looks like we've got a feedback loop in the visual matrix processor. Hold still a second. Whatever that means. How's that? Okay, now to activate your speech function. 
me out of this thing, you blarg headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my ass! <laughs> there seems to be a problem with the speech circuitry. I'll, 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 I'll take a look at it later. Now hold still. Let's just see if I wired that teleportation circuitry. <laughs> The new armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. Contestants? We will explain later. If you do not complete the qualification course in the allotted time, we will all be terminated. And so here we are. We must calibrate your battle suit's targeting matrix. So First, I've just been look through over this. At the so on your left. this is going to be the boring part for me. Uh, I have to make sure that all of my Turn controls to face work. the hollow target on the right. Then and fire. I also have to push the system quite a bit. Good. There we go. Now shoot the hollow target so I above you. need to tell you that my computer is not... What? No. That's wrong. Alright, Ratchet. Your movement circuit should be in working order now. Try getting to the top of that ledge. Oh dear, we've got a little problem here. Control options, D -d -d, inverted normal, there we go. Okay, that's better. So up we go. This I am is... transmitting a digital mini-map representation of the area. Can you see it? The mini-map will show you the positions of nearby enemies. I am reading three more hollow targets in your vicinity. Thank you, Clank. So, my computer, as, as I was trying to say until we got really interrupted by the controls game, is uh, not exactly of the correct standard for emulating video games. Good ratchet. There should be a teleporter nearby that will take you to the oh, next sugar. stage of the I qualification course. I forgot that I don't have my heli pack anymore. So, we're going to use this teleporter and we're going to go and fight some bad guys. So I've done the best I could do to make this thing work, so I'm very sorry if it's driving you nuts. There, unfortunately, there isn't much I can do about it. Greetings, hero, and welcome to Dread Zone. Rest assured, you are now far beyond the reach of hope. There will be no rescues, no pardons, no possibility of escape. You are now a contestant on the greatest television program the galaxy has ever known. A celebrity gladiator battling for the pleasure of a billion screaming fans across the Shadow Sector and beyond. Chances are you'll be dead by tomorrow. Hmm. But those of you who play the game with skill and strategy will earn a chance to win your freedom. So right now, so good luck, hero. My computer. We'll be watching you. <laughs> Trying to take off. <laughs> Ratchet, I have figured out a way to get information to you worth the okay, box thank knowing. You very much. Let's Pay attention move on. to secret messages at the bottom of your screen. At the top of your screen is the experience bar. As you destroy enemies, you gain experience. When the bar is full, you will gain a level, and your nanotech will increase. <laughs> so, oh god, we are really slowing down here. Hold R2 or triangle, and use the left analog stick to select any weapon. Uh. Alright, or two. Alright. Come on, fire. So one of the oh, more talking. Note the deadlock collar securely fastened around your neck. This collar cannot be broken or removed. Should you stray into any restricted area, the collar will administer an extremely painful shock. Observe. I hate this <laughs> job. <laughs> Ah, 
Uh, should a contestant become uncooperative or worse, boring, his or her collar can be detonated at any time with the push of a button. Well, there you have it. Nothing to lose your head over, <laughs> right? Congratulations, Ratchet. You made it through the qualification course. Check your map. There should be a teleporter nearby. Use the teleporter to meet me back at our Dread Zone containment area. Oh, no okay. So, as you can see, the textures are going after the apeshit. Wow! This place is crazy! I've always wondered what it'd be like to be a professional gladiator. I mean, these guys have the life, the fame, the money, the babes. Try not to forget that we are being held prisoner by a criminal organization. This is no time for fantasizing. Hmm. Welcome, hero, to your new living quarters. Thank Your you. luxury containment suite is equipped with everything you will need as a contestant on Dread Zone. Please make yourself comfortable. You'll most likely be spending. Hey, Al. Hey, Ratchet. <laughs> I have something to show you. Meet your new battle. Oh, box. I love this guy. This here's green. Uh, hi, sir. <laughs> I got them off a former contestant who, um, uh, won't be needing them anymore. Don't worry, boss. You won't end up like that last guy. I hope not. I still have nightmares about it. Oh, suck it up, green. Once you win a few battles, we can afford to upgrade them. Just come and see me whenever you want to juice them up. Okay, that is not a cool good to trick it game. Right, we're right now off to see Kang. You know, seen combat. Uh, I forgot to Me? mention these guys. Just yeah, don't show before off. I came here, I saw a little action. Hey, nice digs. Um, digs? I mean, what's all the hardware for? Ah. They call this the mission control room. Each contestant is assigned a mission engineer to monitor their progress. Right. So, what's his face? Figured he'd save a few bolts to make you do it. Ahem. All right, fresh meat. Enough chit chat. You're next mm. up in the battle dome after Mobius, man. And from the way he's fighting, it won't be much longer. Now move it. Ratchet. I will assist you anyway. Okay, I... let's get going. Because I've had enough of this chitter chat. Attention, hero. Report to the Battle Dome transport shop. Okay, this shouldn't go too badly. Off we go. To the Battle Dome. Greetings, hero or heroine. We thank you for choosing Pox Airways for your traveling needs. We do hope you have a pleasant flight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our in-flight entertainment, courtesy of the Pox Network. So if you recognize so those guys, they are the Tyranoids from Ratchet and Clank 3. Um, Will you lose your lunch if you have to watch so one more reality <laughs> dating show? Ow. Is your blog gone wild head. video scratched from overuse? Then it's time to turn that dial to something a little more dangerous. Time for some real action. It's time to blow up! That's right! It's time for Dread Zone! The galaxy's number one uncensored, unethical, and completely underground combat sport! Blasting straight at you, live from the Battle Dome! And now, on pay-per-view, watch as Ratchet and Clank take on Ace Hardlight and the Exterminators! They save the galaxy three times over, but how long can they survive in the zone? Catch it live, right here, on Box. Alright. Interesting in-flight entertainment. Oh, and that is it for Mo 
Mobius man, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Eviscerator's fourth victim already this season. Next up, we have, uh, let's see here, Ratchet? Yeah, I never heard of him. Well, he's probably just intermission material, folks, but don't worry, we have Grey Thunder and Hydro Girl coming up later, so stay tuned to Dread Zone. Well, here he is. <laughs> he's a little guy, isn't he? Well, don't bother getting up for drinks, folks. This guy won't last two rounds. We'll see. Yes, we shall see. Especially me at the helm. Mm, super easy mode. Dread Zone fans, this is it. Burn, Let's burn. introduce our first burn. contestant. He's a Lombax. He yes, spent time I, in prison. He I hates candy and children. Let's hear it for Ratchet and okay, Team Dark Star. Prison, but... Team Dark Star. Interesting name for the uh -oh. team. I guess I didn't calibrate that bot correctly. Go okay, ahead come on, and press up. the down directional Dee -dee. button to initiate the auto repair sequence. You can do this anytime a bot becomes too damaged to continue. Thank you. It's done. Maybe you can not. press the down directional button at any time to make your this bot regroup to your way? position. This way. Uh -huh, this way. Weird, you know, playing. I think this game again after so many years. What's in that? Seven years? Just fine when you're looking up at that. Yeah, that's intriguing. And we're going this way. Cross the platform thing. So at least we will try to. Red zone challenges Ooh. sometimes use bolt cranks to activate devices or lower force fields. But be careful, Ratchet. The bolt cranks may trigger incoming waves of enemies. So, if it helps, the time that my screen is being cut off here. That's not stuff on fire. Ratchet, my scanners show an extremely deadly 70mm stalker turret ahead of you. You need to get behind cover immediately. The shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to take them down. Command your bot to toss out an EMP by pressing the left directional button. Oh, come on. Excellent work, Ratchet. Now that you have survived the qualification course, you will be allowed to join us back at our containment area. This is probably going to cause a bit of a copyright strike. <laughs> Quick box. Oh, well, far be it for me to keep the superstar exterminator from his busy social schedule. I just have one question for you. Okay, shoot. 
Would you like to buy an Ace Hard Light video game? How about an Ace Hard Light lunchbox? Action figures, movie rights, collectible trading cards? Ace Hard Light is the perfectly manufactured celebrity, straight from the presses of the entire Fox Media Empire. So tell me, why is it that I can't give this stuff away? Well, uh... Don't answer that. Let me take a wild guess. <laughs> It's because my fans can't stand Ace Hardlight! He's a pompous with the charisma of bloggy and Nazis! So, what are you saying, exactly? Zip it, Wonder Boy! So little Billies and Susies of the world are spending a trillion volts a day on worthless swag! And I'm completely cut out of the market! Either you start selling this junk, or I'll find someone who will! Now get out of my sight! <laughs> oh, somebody's got anger issues. And here we are back at the facility. Ratchet, you need to choose where you are going. This is the interplanetary transport. It will take you to Dread Zone battle courses on other planets. It travels on a planned course. Any temper right. And we're going to leave it at that. So thanks for joining us today with Firefly Games. My name is Fl Fluffy. Fluffy. I'm Firefly 1995, and you're watching Team Firefly. Uh, well, you are Team Firefly. And, of course, stab that like button. I'm sorry, I can't give you a better experience. Um, if I can, I'll probably pirate it, or I don't know what I'll do. I'll figure it out somehow. So, have a great time, and we'll catch you later.